Hello, West Seattle High School students. This is a quick video about how to make a Spark website. Uh, you're going to make a web page, basically, that uh, uses the same sort of basic functionality that you did for the slideshow videos um, to make a website. So here's one I already made, uh, just to show you what it's going to kind of look like. So it's going to be one of the scroll title type websites. Uh, you won't have multiple like linked pages and stuff like that. So you'll be able to make a really basic front page. Uh, you can make various layout kind of pages with the pictures swappable from side to side. And you can make little link buttons and things like that that are actually functional link buttons that this would open up um, if it were the website version as opposed to just the, the maker part, uh, a link to the Washington Department of Health COVID thing or Pfizer. Um, so you can make little link pages. Uh, you can do things like this where you have like slideshows with text uh, that shift as you scroll down. You can watch me scrolling here. Um, you can set up little pictures and stuff like that. All of this took like no time at all. And basically you're relying on these uh, tools after you do the front page. So you can do split layout pages, you can do a glide show. That was that thing like this, that's a glide show. Uh, photo grid is obviously this thing. You can insert videos if you have them. Uh, and buttons are for like website links, text if you just want random text in there, and then obviously you can just add photos. Um, so let me go back to how to get that started. So that was this one right there. It took me seven minutes to throw that together. Um, obviously you're going to use the web page button. So here's web page, you click on that, and it immediately takes you uh, right into the front page. So you can set your title uh, of choice um, and add a subtitle, sort of depending on your topic. Topics, duff. Um, and then uh, you can add more things, or you can click on the background here and add a photo. Uh, find free photos, or you can upload your own, just anything you want. Obviously, you kind of want to make it so it fits, you know, what your topic is. Um, chickens are awesome and then uh, once you've got your front page done which already looks like vaguely professional um, you can kind of scroll down and it'll start giving you these options to add new things so uh, you could add like a, a text box where it's gonna explain what your websites about you can add a slit layout uh, add another image over here and then on the other side of it you could add buttons which would be website stuff you could do text um, and then add a button set after that. Uh, for the buttons, you add what the button is, uh, link to da da da, and then you just take the URL that you would have in another open tab in here. You can set the alignment, where it is, that kind of stuff. Um, and then the buttons, well, let me click save because I haven't put something in there. Um, so let me just grab this. Um, doo -doo -doo. And, uh, oops. I forgot, I clicked edit button instead of save. Um, anyway, you can add buttons and stuff like that. Uh, your glide shows, you know, you just start chucking in pictures of chickens. Um, and, oh, maybe I just double click it, yep. Um, and uh, then you can add text on top of that and things like that. So super basic to make um, your glide show and things like that. So it's basically just a question of, um, oh no, it wants me to put text over these. Um, you don't have to. Um, and then you can just keep adding more and more things as you go along. All right, so super straightforward to make the page. And then the really crazy thing is that when you're done, uh, you can either download it uh, the way you normally would, or you can click the share button. Um, and it will actually create a little actual functional website. Um, so uh, be careful about what you put there because it'll actually be on the web. Um, and then the last thing about this and the crucial part for the group project we're going to do is that you can share uh, your thing with other people in your group to make it. So more than one person can work on the website. Only one person can work at once, but uh, you know you could have one person work on it you know, in the morning, another person work on it in the afternoon or something like that. Um, so if you click plus, uh, then you can just start adding the name of various people uh, who are going to be able to work on this website and they would all have the ability to, um, to edit the website. So that is uh, how to uh, make one really quickly. I imagine for me, for my classes, I'm going to have you turn it in by uh, actually making a website and then uh, sending me a link to that website. And then you can obviously delete the website once the assignment's over um, or unshare it. All right, uh, so that's how to make a quick and dirty website using uh, the Spark Website Maker. Thanks, bye.